Holy Mary, Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we celebrate a memorial on this June, the first Monday at Our Lady Guadalupe in South Hutchinson. We celebrate the memorial of our Blessed Mother, Mother of the Church. We celebrate this Mass for the intentions of the mothers of our parish, those who are raising children, those who are making their way through summer as a family. We pray for your health, well-being, strength, and also pursuit of holiness and happiness. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves. We celebrate to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us think of and recall our sins and ask for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin, of the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt you shall eat. All the days of your life I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between her offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All nations praise the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountain, the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob, Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Lord Most High. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note then, they shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there, 
whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. And after this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a normal Monday morning, a lot of craziness and hectic uh, activity uh, that we celebrate such a beautiful uh, celebration. Mary, Mother of the Church. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, I was ill-prepared and had to source my readings from three different books, and it shows. Uh, however, uh, today we celebrate that which Mary uh, was proclaimed Mother of the Church, uh, a, one of the pronouncements of the Church, Second Vatican Council. Uh, and here we see in our first reading, we had the fall of, of humankind, uh, and you might say death through Eve, but life through Mary. Uh, was its main uh, focus, uh, 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 and uh, especially of, of today. Our gospel reading today has this uh, beautiful scene and sorrowful scene at the same time of that of Mary uh, at the foot of the cross. Uh, and we are mind, in our minds, we think of the Pieta of Mary uh, uh, being ever faithful and uh, yet uh, being uh, uh, very much uh, wounded if you will, uh, by the sorrow of her son uh, being treated in such a manner and his death. Uh, Mary uh, was there to say yes to the angel Gabriel at the Annunciation, became the mother of God. Mary was at Pentecost, which we celebrated yesterday. Uh, Mary in the upper room with the disciples at Pentecost uh, at the very beginning of the church, and we recognize that Mary uh, indeed uh, is, can be said to be the mother of the church. And wonderfully, it's one of those few uh, uh, instances that are very clear when we can see our origin from the mother of God and our destiny also is toward Jesus. But as we approach that destination of Jesus, we, become to look, we begin to look more and more like Mary. And this is one of the main proclamations of Mary Mother of the, as Mother of the Church was that as a church journeys forth, that we shall be more faithful, that we shall be more holy, uh, that we shall be more in the image of Jesus Christ through the workings and through the hands of our Blessed Mother. And today, I think especially of all mothers who over this past months have been challenged with children being around, uh, uh, coming to uh, deal more and more with their children as school situation is as such and homeschooling and such has occurred and now we have the summer months uh, and mothers uh, in many cases are called to be ever more present in their children's life but also to exercise even more virtue uh, uh, during this time as families are called to be kind patient and loving with one another may Mary our mother help us to be the domestic church that our Lord wants us to be. My brothers and sisters, we pray uh, and bring our needs before our Lord. We pray for Pope Francis, for all bishops. May the Spirit draw them together. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all mothers, especially expectant mothers facing uncertainty or poverty. May God give them the grace they need to lovingly welcome their children into our world. As Mary did, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for members of our community of Our Lady Guadalupe. May through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, may we grow in grace and fortitude and fear of the Lord. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the hands and protection of Mary and the hands and the grace of Mary, may our families be protected from all harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died. We entrust them to the hands of our Blessed Mother that she may lead them to Jesus. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
O Heavenly Father, answer our prayers through your beloved Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered. No request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name on this, the memorial of our blessed mother as mother of the church. For, the, by, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, we pray. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Final announcements. Uh, that is to say that uh, um, occasionally we have problems uh, technically in, in getting uh, the Mass uh, televised. Um, this morning, a perfect example, this morning we're maybe a half hour uh, late or so, technical issues. Um, I also want to mention the uh, Sunday Mass. Uh, uh, the surest way to receive the Sunday Mass is to sus subscribe. Uh, if you do uh, see the Sunday Mass video, hit the subscribe button, and then when the, uh, it live streams, uh, uh, you will receive a notification. Uh, receive a notification. We're still working to smooth out that process of, of, uh, of live streaming. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, may he be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. And may you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. And may you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.